Okay, this is a video going up on my alternate account. If you want to see the guide for this boss in general, you can look at it on the Genshin Wiki or on the top right corner here. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the achievements in which that are very easy to get, but just be careful because basically all of them require don't get hit. <laughs> um, so destroy all arcane fruits and defeat the Felflower. You should be getting that when you initially begin and finish the challenge. When the fell flower activates its snowball attack, use the arcane fruits to interrupt the attack and defeat the whatever. Um, basically, when uh, you're going to be using the arcane fruits as in like the little spiky balls and you're shooting them while he's attacking. So you either need to time it or, well, just be lucky, I suppose. I think you can all do this in co-op as well, but I'm not too sure. Defeat four monsters created by the arcane fruits in total. They will spawn in in the third arcane fruit if you're doing this in single player. So you can let that thing spawn in the cryo slimes and you should be good to go. Defeat the fell flower without allowing to absorb any arcane essence at all. Basically, make sure to run around the entire uh, whopper flower and collect all the crystals. Defeat the fell flower without being hit by its subterranean attack. Basically, don't get hit. Uh, after the fell flower throws out its arcane fruits, defeat it without being hit by the fruits hammer strikes, which is the one that first spawns in and goes like up and down three times. So we're already here, so let's just start the battle. And the only ones you really need to pay attention to is the one with the hammer description and just not getting hit. So let's start. Single player. Okay, so now the boss spawns in and don't actually start melting it right away because that just wastes time. I saw another guide that for whatever reason decided that you must have to melt everything that's wrong. Just let it play out. Be patient with the boss battle. Here's the snowballs, just be careful with it. And you see how I didn't get hit by any of those like hammer attacks, meaning like this thing going downward. You just got an achievement and you got one of the achievements done for the event. Congratulations. Now with, when it comes to the art essence, catch up. when you pick it up, just pick them all up, but just be aware that you lose health. If you look down here, my health is going down very rapidly. Uh, so here, I want to grab out Amber really quickly, but here, since he's going to shoot little snowballs at me, I'm just going to run in one direction. I'll you there. And he'll probably try to throw out snowballs. I think it's like one in two chances, but just be aware that uh, sometimes he might end the fight like that. So just, you know, getting hit by that is scary, so just be careful with that. Use Amber to throw the physical arrows. Uh, at that little floating thing because you won't be able to hit it with a sword character and just pick up more essence because remember if you don't pick this up not only will he regenerate shields but you lose your achievement so here i'm gonna do the same thing just run in one direction okay cool and this is probably gonna be a third phase oh never mind more snowballs all right Snowballs, snowballs, snowballs. It's very easy to dodge. How can you go the other way? Very easy. I didn't have to sprint once. You can iframe them, but it's just easier to walk, you know? Alright, so here is when he starts spawning in the cryo slimes, and those are what they call the arcane monsters. At least I think that's what's inside the uh, thing. So if you really want, uh, just let them spawn in if you want. But do be aware that you could potentially get overwhelmed if it doesn't, uh, you know, get destroyed soon enough. So you might want to do this in one or two runs instead of just one-shotting it. Because now, look at, look at how many moves are he's throwing at me. So don't take too long because you could eventually get hit by a multitude of things. So just be aware of that. He's gonna throw a crystal at me, I think. Alright, cool. And with this one, you can actually use Amber to melt. And this should be the end of the first phase. And now it's just home free. You can just do however much damage you want to it. But because these slimes are here, you wanna be very careful. Someone needs this time. I'm just gonna use Noel and start going hand. For this little thing, you can just run in one direction, it should be fine. Alright, I kill that slime. Snowballs, just don't get hit. Basically, you'll check off a lot of achievements if you don't get hit. I promise that this works for anyone. Just make sure that you uh, give a little bit of practice and you should be fine. So here, 
You should be home free. You might need to do one or two more runs to get more cryo slimes killed, but otherwise, you should be home free to get all those delicious, um, delicious, well, gems, I guess, or whatever seeds, currency. I don't know how to speak English. Anyway, I'm just gonna use Amber and shoot the rest because he's just gonna be a chunk and sit here and take my shit. Just keep an eye on the floor, don't let him hit you, and continue to do the exact same thing over and over again until you finish the fight. It's literally as easy as this comes. So I understand that it doesn't look like I got any achievements because I already got them all, but that's exactly how I got all the achievements that I uh, that are listed. So when it comes to do the achievement guide, basically just repeat what you just saw in front of you for the last five minutes, like once or twice, and you should be done. As you can see here, Rise of the Fellflower. Everything here listed is just basically a don't get hit challenge or uh, try to shoot it at a perfect time, which isn't very difficult because if you know what the boss is going to be doing uh, you'll know when to shoot what to do and it won't take you more than for like 30 minutes or something <laughs> as you can see I got like 2400 coins so I'm not going to be able to use it because well I bought everything already so this just shows how many times I've done this but that's basically all you need to do for the guide uh, this is a free-to-play guide, so this is why I have Traveler, Amber, Noel, and Shanling here. But if you want to use anyone else, go right ahead, because this boss is quite possibly one of the easiest bosses ever to grace Genshin's history. But yeah, uh, do it a few more times if you want to do the Battle Pass challenge as well. Over here, all you gotta do is just fight the boss. This means like seven times, but it shouldn't take you more than 30 minutes if you know what you're doing. So good luck, and I hope you enjoy your rewards. And don't forget, Amber is the GOAT. Is you just cute? <laughs>